Hey guys and gals, thanks for joining me again. This is Scott, the ex-grasshopper with nomoregrasshoppers.com. I appreciate you coming back and checking out another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to build another self-watering container out of some five-gallon buckets. Uh, I'm going to show you the tools and the supplies you're going to need, and then I'm going to show you uh, exactly how to build it. Uh, this is a little bit easier build than the earth box style uh, self-watering container um, because it is smaller and uh, and it's a little more portable so you guys who have a little less room uh, if you can't fit even a, a like a Rubbermaid tote size container you know this is another option um, uh, for something about this size it's a it's a quicker build and it, it is a little bit easier so I'm going to show you the tools you're going to need and then I'll show you how, how to put it together alright guys let's talk about the supplies you're going to need to build this thing uh, you're going to need two five gallon buckets you're going to need a length of one or one and a half inch PVC pipe that we're going to cut to 20 inches in length. Uh, we're going to need a one inch uh, spade bit, a three eighths spade bit, a pair of scissors, some black tarp to cover the uh, bucket once we're done, a hacksaw, a uh, drill, whether it's corded or cordless, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll need a um, tape measure and a marking utensil. Okay, and then, and then whatever you're going to use for your wicking basket, that's really up to you. You can get creative. Uh, here's two options right here. Uh, this first, this green uh, ba basket is something that I found in the irrigation uh, section at uh, at Home Depot, and uh, I think I, I'm sure it's used for some sort of landscaping. Uh, it was only four dollars, so it looks like it'd make a pretty good uh, wicking basket there, and. Uh, Here's a cheap option. Uh, you got your plastic party cup. Okay, you can drill holes in that, and uh, and just use that for your for your wicking basket. So there's your cheaper option there. Um, so yeah, those are going to be your your basic uh, needs for this build. All right, let's talk about the basic principles of this build and how the bucket itself works. Okay, so you have basically uh, your two five-gallon buckets. They fit inside of each other, and there's enough room. Uh, in between them when you stack them that it leaves room for a water reservoir okay so basically we're going to do kind of the same thing we did with the earth box we're going to cut a hole in for the wicking basket we're also going to drill holes uh, for the water to seep through and the roots that grow down into the water reserve um, but basically the good thing about this one is you kind of have your built-in partition there um, so we're going to drill the hole there drill the hole I'm sorry drill the holes for the wicking basket we're also going to drill another hole for the fill tube. Then we'll put it in here. And we'll cut our um, our fill tube down to size. We'll drill the holes in it so the water will come out. Place it down in there. We're going to drill a hole in the side of the uh, two holes in the side of the um, uh, bucket here to put a zip tie through so it'll hold the the uh, fill tube in place. And then we'll place the um, place the wicking basket down in there. We'll fill it with, uh, we'll pack that wicking basket down with wet uh, soil mix and then we will fill the bucket up with the, with the soil mixture and um, place black tarp on top of it, uh, cut our hole for our PVC fill pipe and then uh, cut a hole for the plants, whatever you want to plant in there. Um, I imagine if it's a small plant you could probably do two. Uh, if it's like a tomato plant you could probably get away with just doing one because uh, it will, you know, a good sized tomato plant will get pretty big. But so yeah, those are the basic principles of, of how this works. You just fill it up and uh, you'll probably have to fill this one up a little bit more often than you will the, uh, the uh, Rubbermaid size ones, but uh, uh, it, it should work pretty well. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to put it together. Alright, so like I said, this is going to be a lot easier build. Uh, we've already got our partition here as the bottom of the bucket. Now we're going to draw the circle for the hole that we're going to cut out for our wicking basket. And uh, there you go. Uh, we're going to take our 3 8 uh, spade, spade drill bit and uh, just do our holes here. There you go. Okay, now we're going to use our 1 inch bit to get our hole started here in the middle should just make it easier for us when we're using our razor knife, which I forgot to mention in the tools needed. 
That was ugly, sorry about that. All right, now that you have your hole drilled, uh, we're gonna take a razor knife and uh, you can just cut to the edge and kind of think about splitting it into four pipe, uh, four pipe pieces. And I think that's just gonna make it easier instead of trying to make one big circle. Like that. There you go, there's our hole. Let's see how it fits. There you go, looks good to me. Enough room for the lip, that'll work. All right, now we're gonna make one more hole for uh, the, uh, the fill tube. Fill that right there. There you go. I'm gonna take our knife and just kinda, how about now? There you go, nice tight fit. That's what you want. Now it's time to cut the pipe. All right, now we're going to mark off 20 inches on the pipe. And then we're just going to cut it. Now we're going to use our um, 3 8 inch uh, spade bit to uh, drill some of the holes. go. All right, so uh, the next thing we have to do is figure out where we're going to drill our um, overflow holes. And we're going to drill those holes in the bucket that we did not, uh, that's going to go on the bottom. So the best way to uh, figure out where to, where to fill it is uh, let's put this one, the one that we drilled, inside and then you're going to take your sharpie, you're going to reach inside the hole right up to the bottom of the bucket you're going to make a mark on this bucket on the uh, four, four sides we're going to mark right above it all four of them for this one we're going to make four overflow holes with our uh, three eighths bit here. Just like that. There you go. There you go. We got our overflow holes. So that we don't overwater uh, the container. Alright, we are basically done. Um, all we have to do is put it together. Okay, so we're gonna take we're gonna take our wicking basket, we're gonna put it inside, looks like that. Now we're going to take this, this bucket, put it inside, okay, now we're going to take our fill tube with the holes on the bottom, we're going to put it inside, all the way down, we're going to do one more set of drilling so that we can use some zip ties, one on each side, Take a zip tie, put it around. There you go. That's it, pretty much. I mean, it's uh, it's there. It's ready to be filled with dirt. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make the mixture real quick, and then I'll show you how to put the the black cover on. All right. One thing I gotta mention to you guys before I finish filling the bucket up with uh, the soil is uh, now that I've got a little bit of it made up, you need to go ahead and prime the wicking basket by putting. Um, pre-moistened soil into it. Uh, this needs to be wet so it'll go ahead and start the, the wicking process when you do fill it with water. If you leave this dry from what I've read, uh, the wicking process won't start. Um, so basically you're just going to take this and I got my mixture here. I'm going to add a little bit of extra water. I'm just going to fill it up. There you go. So I got it primed and I'm ready to add the rest of my soil. All right, we got it built, we got the soil in it, and now it's just time to get it ready to put the seedlings into. Um, I'm gonna moisten the top layer here, okay? Then I'm gonna add a little bit of the mixture that, that we had. Okay. And I'm going to make a little trench around the around the uh, 
edge of the uh, of the bucket. So, hi, buddy. This one's going to be a little different to prepare than the the bigger uh, Rubbermaid tote uh, self-watering containers. Uh, the way you're going to add your fertilizer here is around the uh, the edge instead of down the middle or down the side, depending on what you're planting. Uh, and we use about two cups of of uh, you know of non-organic fertilizer uh, for the big one. So, so on this one I'm thinking uh, something along the lines of three quarters of a cup. So three of these would be three quarters. So let's just see how far it goes. This one's going to take significantly less. Uh, that should be enough. Okay, so now we're going to add the rest of our mix. And I'm going to cover up the edges. Now remember not to plant too close to the edges because you got all that fertilizer. Okay. So now I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to plant two uh, basil plants in here. And uh, this is one of them. It's uh, been, that's part of my second planting. And then uh, We've got this one. This is the miracle basil that I was showing you guys. This is the only one that survived the fall off the balcony. Uh, it actually fell this way, but it fell under some pallets and it was there for a couple of days. But it's uh, it's thriving. It's got quite a few leaves on it. So I'm gonna uh, gonna plant it and see what happens. So you're just gonna make a pocket for as close to the center as possible for both of these. All right, there you go, you got them in there. Now I'm just gonna show you how to uh, put the black cover on. All right, you need a plastic cover of, of roughly 22 by 22 squared. Um, and we're just gonna put it over here. And we're gonna use our scissors to, uh, to cut a little X for the uh, fill tube. Pull that over. And then we're going to cut a little X for each basil plant, or for whatever plant you're using. There's that one. And there's that one. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a length of paracord to, uh, to tie it down. Um, you could use bungee cord, or you could actually cut out the top of the lid that comes with the bucket and do it like we do on the Rubbermaid uh, totes uh, and just place it over there. But those lids are really hard to get on and off. So I just prefer, if you need to access it, you got, you got, all you have to do is untie it. So I'm just gonna tie it in a bow. That way it'll be easy to get on and off, but it'll still hold it on. Take your scissors and you can trim some excess if you really want to. Uh, let's go ahead and untie this. Before, before we uh, finish it off, we need to just mist the top because it will take a little while for that water to get wicked up. Okay, then we're going to tie it on. Alright, well there you go. That's a self-watering uh, container made out of two five-gallon buckets, a length of PVC pipe. Um, you can make it with a plastic cup for the wicking basket or you can use a little basket like I showed you. I uh, hope that helps you guys out and it's a really easy build. I encourage you guys if, you, if you're if you wanting to do it, just get out there and do it. Alright, so ne until the next video, uh, this is Scott the X Grasshopper with NoMoreGrasshoppers.com. I just asked that if you like the videos, you subscribe. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Um, so visit the website, visit the YouTube channel and uh, hope to see you guys on the next video. Uh, until then, we'll see you later.